Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Stevens. Today, chums, I want to talk a little bit about the channel and also a little bit about No Man's Sky and things that I think are on the horizon of coming into the Quicksilver store or into expeditions in No Man's Sky in the very near future. So, on my actual door, just put this off the door, is a display full of custom sort of artworks people inside the viewers now you can see here there's a couple of ship designs there yeah now a lot of these parts that are on these sort of i don't know concept artworks of ships have yet to have come into game now i'm thinking with the echoes being like a previous echo of yesteryear like loop 19 before loop 16 of where we are now where inside of the lore there was more races and more things going on. I'm wondering whether some of these conceptual pieces of art on some of the actual parts of ships might make it inside of our current iteration. Imagine hitting up the Quicksilver store and talking to Johnny Five to find out that he has new custom ship parts that you can't get inside of game currently, so your custom ship becomes extremely custom. Or perhaps they could add in an additional square for a shader or decal pack, because in some of these actual ships, and inside of their concept art, is clearly some different sort of texture designs. One of them almost looks like a tiger-esque type print. So I'm hoping that in future, when we go to a Quicksilver store, we might be able to buy new cockpits, we might be able to buy new wings or even engines for our ships, or new decals or skins or texture packs for our actual ships, people inside of the view of us. Let me know what you think. Could that be in the cards? Sound off in the comments. Thank you, people inside of the view of us. Okay, now channel news. You normally I would do like the stats and videos for my actual members about my analytics but you know what I'm gonna share some of those analytics with you guys inside of the viewer verse that watch the channel so you can understand what it's like to be a youtuber so up on the screen right now I'm just putting up some of my analytical stats there for you enjoy people inside the viewer verse but yeah the actual channel itself Every time there seems to be a decline in No Man's Sky content, I do try to bring other games to the channel at the same time alongside No Man's Sky. So right now I've got Dragon's Dogma 2, and it really hasn't given any sort of uptick to the channel really, but it has been a game that I've been thoroughly enjoying, so I'm going to carry on doing it because I'm loving it. So yeah, there is that. In the past I've brought Cyberpunk to the channel and Elden Ring. Some of those did keep tickling the algorithm and kept my channel alive during some downtime. During this downtime though, I did make a new channel trailer. And on that new channel trailer, I actually ran a promotion to put my new channel trailer out there for more people to bring people to the channel. And it has brought in a whole load of new subscribers. Now, inside of that channel trailer, I did say that I do vlogs, I do talks videos, and I also do plays videos. Now, I've been trying to do an equal amount of each just to see how that balances out to give my channel more of a rounded sort of appeal to people, not just bomb pe bombard people with No Man's Sky, try to broaden my horizons a little bit more, show some of my own life, and make it more personal and personable with the talks videos and things and my opinions on stuff that's happening inside the verse. I've got a couple of review videos that I want to do. I want to do a review of Rebel Moon Part 2. As you know, I loved Rebel Moon Part 1. I said it was a freaking 10 out of 10. Rebel Moon Part 2, wait for the review of that one, but it's definitely not getting a 10, let me put it that way. I've also just got myself Dune Part 2. Can't wait to watch that. I should be watching that tonight. And I've been watching Fallout. I've only got one episode left of Fallout to do before I do a review of that. So I've got a few reviews to do. They'll be coming to the channel over this week, people. So if you like reviews of geeky sci-fi or fantasy type stuff, this is a place for you. Or adaptations of animes into real life. Yeah, I've done with The Last Airbender, put that out there, and also One Piece. I think I did a review of One Piece, or did I mention it in the Airbender review? Can't remember, but I did love One Piece, it was freaking great. Maybe I ought to do a full review of One Piece. Don't know. Anyways, people, so I've got that coming to the channel. What else have I got coming to my channel in way of gaming? Well, I am building a gaming PC, and I am hoping to bring to the channel a little bit more content on No Man's Sky, on my playthrough of No Man's Sky. I want to welly up all the graphical settings and just see what Hello Games' engine is capable of inside of No Man's Sky on a high-end PC. But not only that, I am hoping to maybe bring Squadron 42, that's Star Citizen, to the channel. 
once it actually reaches 1.1 in its natural game game rather than being what it is at the moment open access or early access which has been for freaking time so i'm hoping to maybe bring that to the channel there's another game called under a rock um, little devil inside and there's a whole load of games for the pc that have got me interested manor lords is another one that got me interested i have been watching a few reviews of that and playthroughs on ign and I don't know whether I've got enough time for Manor Lords, even if, well, my PC isn't quite ready to play yet. And in fact, it's just a case at the moment, people. But anyways, I will be doing a video on building my PC once I get to that stage. Like I say, I've ordered the tower case. The tower case looks freaking fantastic. But that's pretty much everything I've got for you. So, a little bit of a No Man's Sky idea. Oh, actually, that's not all I've got for you. I, read, I put a tweet out on Twitter... To Sean of the Murrays, a nice little comment that I had from one of my actual viewers and subscribers. And I shared it on Twitter because it made me chuckle. I was hoping it would make Sean chuckle. He put a little laughing face, so hopefully it did. And he shared it out. So there you go. I'll put that up on the screen for you people. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I have got for... Oh, no it isn't. I've still got another thing. There is a load of patches rolling out on PC Experimental Branch for No Man's Sky. Some people thought that it might have been an update in the wings, might have been an expedition. It's not. It's a load of patches, and it's patches coming out fairly soon that are kind of pretty good. There's a couple of good ones in there. Uh, mainly quality of life stuff, people. There's nothing that's major game hanging or game destroying that's been patched or fixed inside of there. But yeah, still interesting stuff. Still No Man's Sky related news. I'll put the patch notes on the screen, give a little slow scroll or something. But yeah, enjoy those patch notes, peeps. And that definitely is everything that I have for you now, people inside the Viewerverse. And yeah, I will be doing another little promotion on my channel, probably in about two months' time. I'll probably make another channel trailer, do another promotion, try and get those views and subscribers up about the new channel direction and the fact that I'm branching out. Yeah, nearly at 40,000 subscribers. Yeah, just four, about 400 sub subscribers away. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do help me hit that 40,000 subs. It would be nice to one day hit 100,000 subs and then I can get that lovely silver plaque that makes out that you are a proper bona fide YouTuber. Salute to Monday. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the viewer verse.